Hey guys, for this video today, this will be another rant video. Truth is, there's been quite a few ideas that I've had lately that I've felt that ha I have felt are worth ranting about. And lately it's been, I know I've been doing a lot of podcast style videos as of late, but there's been certain topics that I've wanted to discuss. And I thought that I it would be easier to just put my... Uh, phone down and hit record and give you guys something to hear. Um, but uh, I will say this about this video. This video, unlike quite a few of my most recent videos as I'm filming this, will certainly have visuals in it. If this, as you can see here, wasn't your first clue, eh? Uh, but anyways, uh, this will be another Vancouver Canucks rant video. I feel that the Canucks videos that I've been doing lately have been very justified because I've been very disappointed with what the Vancouver Canucks have done uh, with their new uniforms. And in particular, this new so-called heritage third jersey of theirs, which honestly, folks, I don't like it. And for anybody curious to know why I don't like it, I feel that the green on blue just does not work because it bleeds into the blue. The green bleeds into the blue, in my opinion, and I feel that this jersey is sorely lacking in white accents in the striping, and I actually feel that if the bottom stripe on the waists, the socks, and on the arms of, the, of this jersey design were white, that this jersey would actually be a terrific alternate uniform. And if it also had the V's on the arms like the original jerseys from 1970 did actually have. Those two tweaks and uh, also block font numbers and letters on the back would make this a jersey that I would argue would probably be even better and than what their main home uniform is now. In fact... I would go as far to say that that would be a great new home uniform design for the Vancouver Canucks. And it would be a monumental upgrade over what they have decided to continue wearing with some upgrades overall. I mean, I do prefer the Vancouver Less Orca logo on the front over the one with the word mark. And I do really like the white shoulder patch on the home jersey, but I still can't even begin to understand where the Canucks were coming from, putting a white shoulder patch on the white shoulders of a white jersey. That's a head scratcher for me. Uh, but anyways, for this video, I'm going to be doing a rant about the fact that the Canucks could have done more to celebrate their 50th anniversary. Now, let me explain why I feel that way. But before I get into that, there is something that I do want to address. Now, if you are a regular viewer of mine, you know how I feel about these anniversary jerseys that more and more teams seem to be doing all the time. I have a belief, and I still hold it to this day, which today is November 12th, 2019, as I'm filming this, eh? Uh, but my belief is that if a team wants to do a special anniversary jersey like the Ducks did last year to celebrate 25 years and what the Sabres have done to celebrate their 50th anniversary and what the Canucks have done here for their new third jersey design, I'm all for it. But what I like to see is when a team does a special anniversary design and a throwback jersey. And although I don't like this uniform that you see here that for the Vancouver Canucks, I will say this, even though I am not happy with what the Canucks have decided to do with their uniforms overall, I do feel that the Canucks did the right thing bringing in a new anniversary design, aka their new alternate uniform, and a 1994 throwback uniform on top of that. So, even though the Canucks did not do what I was really hoping for them to do and finally get rid of the Orca altogether and actually at least change the design of their home jersey where I would actually have both the away and home jerseys with the same striping style as the original 1970 uh, white jersey with the Vs on the arms, 
I will say this. I feel that the Canucks did the right thing in terms of a third jersey for this season and having a throwback on top of that to celebrate their 50th anniversary. Even though I don't like this uniform here, I do respect the Canucks for the fact that they created something new to celebrate the 50th anniversary, but they also gave us a throwback uniform that they will be wearing for three games this season. However, there is something that ever since the opening night 50th anniversary season opening night ceremony has been grinding my gears ever since. And it's this. So not only did the Canucks have Stan Smeal skate out to the on the ice wearing an Addy Zero Flying V jersey, but they've also had Canucks alumni such as their first captain in franchise history, Orland Curtinback, walk out to the center ice of Rogers Arena in Vancouver wearing an Adidified 1970 white throwback jersey, as you can see here. Now, my question is this. Why go to all of these lengths to bring out Addy Zero versions of the yellow flying V jersey and the original 1970 white sweater that you see here, if your team is not going to actually wear them? What the hell? I mean, even last season when the Ducks celebrated their 25th anniversary, when the Ducks celebrated past uniforms and past eras of their franchise's history, all the teams were wearing Adidas-made jerseys, or at least they had the Adidas branding on them, but they weren't Addy Zero jerseys. This season, the Canucks are skating around wearing these for a warm-up recently in that game against the St. Louis Blues, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. And they're skating in the pregame warm-up wearing these beautiful uniforms. I mean, if you've got them ready in the Adidas Addy Zero jersey cut, why aren't you wearing them for an NHL game? That drives me crazy. And I know that there's a lot of people that hate the Flying V uniforms of the 1970s. But I don't give a damn. The Vancouver Canucks are celebrating their 50th anniversary. They should honor their past, including the Flying Vs. So you know what? Even if they're not going to wear them on the ice, I'm glad that at least for that 50th anniversary opening night pregame ceremony that they did have somebody wearing the Flying V. And you know what, folks? I actually really want to see the Canucks at some point wear the Flying V as a special throwback uniform. That uniform is one of the most radically different uniforms in hockey history. It is a famous jersey and uniform design. I don't know why the Canucks wouldn't wear it as a throwback at some point. I mean, I, I, I understand that a lot of people hate it. But I do think that it should be used as a throwback at some point. But, you know... I got to say this, even though I feel that the Canucks handled the 50th anniversary season the right way by having a new design for a third jersey and technically as a 50th anniversary design as well, and having an actual throwback on top of that was the right way to do it and, to, and the right way to celebrate 50 years as a franchise, I still feel that the Canucks could have done a little bit more, especially if they actually have Addy Zero Flying V jerseys and 1970 white jerseys that you see here being made or having actually been made. So anyways, here here's what I want to rant about. Anyways, let's go back to 2009 when the Montreal Canadiens celebrated their 100th anniversary. You know what the Canadians did the team wore multiple throwback uniforms. They wore those crazy barber pole uniforms, which I always thought when I saw them were actually really neat for throwbacks. Montreal brought in the white throwback jersey with the blue chest stripe on it. They also had that blue jersey with the white chest striping and that C logo on the front. I believe, I'm not sure, I don't, I'm trying to remember which uh, team that was. It might have been even been a Quebec 
Bulldogs throwback. I, I don't think it was, though. I, I actually, I can't remember what that throwback uniform was exactly. And I apologize for not knowing it off the top of my head. But the thing is, is that the Canadians wore multiple throwbacks. They wore three different throwbacks in the 0809 season. And then in the 0910 season, you know what Montreal did? They brought back the barber pole sweater and they brought in the red throwback with the green accents on it with the green leaf on the front. And, you know, they also they also took the time to wear the blue uniform, which I, I can't remember. It might have been, I know it was a part of the Montreal Canadiens history. I just can't remember exactly what team it was or if it was actually the Habs uniform. So it actually, it is a replica of their 1909-1910 inaugural season jersey. So unfortunately, folks, I do apologize if I'm not as knowledgeable about history 100 plus years ago as I would honestly like to be, but... Anyway, my point is, the Montreal Canadiens did multiple throwbacks to celebrate their 100th anniversary. I mean, why couldn't the Canucks have at least worn this for a game? Even just one lousy, stinking game. I mean, here we are stuck with this mediocre third jersey design that the Canucks are going to be wearing for, like, I believe, 11 games anyway. Why couldn't they take a game out of, or two games out of it, this uniform's usage to give us the 1970 throwback for two games even? Or even a game for the Flying V and the 1970 throwback? You know, the Canucks have had so many different uniforms in their history. And I think it would have been really nice to see the Canucks celebrate their history. A little bit more, even though I am satisfied with what they've done. But on the other side of the coin, or anyway, on the flip side, when Adidas has actually made Adidified throwback uniforms for the Canucks and they have them prepared, ready to go, why aren't the Canucks using these for at least one regular season game this year? I don't give a damn that the Canucks wore this for their 40th anniversary. This is their original jersey. This is their 50th anniversary. And on top of all that, folks, this, in my opinion, is by far the most beautiful Canucks jersey in team history. I think it's a great uniform. The Kelly Green and Royal Blue on this jersey have always been absolutely gorgeous to me. I don't expect everyone watching this to agree. And by the way, I do love the 90s skate uniforms. I've always liked them, and I've always preferred those over the current and even the former Navy Blue era Orca uniforms that the Canucks have had since the late 1990s, mid to late 90s, sorry. And, you know, I will say this, though, and I will throw this in. It is also very, very, very possible that when it becomes, the, when the 2020-2021 season starts, that the Canucks could very well be planning to do what the Montreal Canadiens did in the 0809 and 910 seasons and do back-to-back -back seasons wearing multiple throwbacks. That is possible, where for the 50th anniversary, the Canucks have their new alternate 50th anniversary design and the 94 throwbacks this season, but maybe next year they do the 1970 throwback. And hell, maybe they even throw in one special game for the Flying Vs to be worn. You never know. The Canucks could very well make, make it happen still. I mean, if they've got Adidas throwback jerseys, as you can see here, for all of the players to wear for, for warm-ups, I'm sure it's very possible that they could have these jerseys ready for the players to wear next year for a game or two. Hopefully more than that. But for me, 
If the Canucks were just wearing basic replica jerseys that weren't Adidified for this jersey style, then I wouldn't even be having this conversation. But when Adidas and the Canucks have brought in Adidified versions of the original 1970 white jersey, I kind of want to rant because this to me is far too beautiful to be passed up for the Canucks to just wear this. And as I say this, I am very, very, very grateful that the Canucks are bringing out the 94 throwbacks for three games this year. I'd rather see a throwback for a few games this season rather than nothing at all. And I think most of us can at least agree on that. And, you know, I... I mean, I can't say it enough. I despise this jersey. I think it's one of the worst third jerseys in the NHL right now. But, uh, thanks to... Um, Thanks to seeing a what looks like to be, in my opinion, a legitimate leak of the Colorado Avalanche uh, 2020 Stadium Series jersey, I think the Canucks are going to get some help this year because that jersey to me looks like a total abomination. And I can't remember who posted it on Discord, on my Discord, but whoever you are, and I just want to give you a special acknowledgement and say thank you. Now, I would open up my Discord to check right now, but my internet's been having problems uh, over the past hour as I'm filming this. So I'm not going to check it here, but to whoever you are, you know who you are, and I want to give you a huge thank you for sharing that there because I saw that jersey and I thought to myself, Jesus Christ, that looks like a superhero costume. And Nick, by the way, uh, I, that's what I saw right away. I forgot to mention that when I talked to you earlier, if you're watching this, which I'm sure you are, but... It does look like a superhero outfit, and it sucks. It looks like crap, and I, I'm i sorry. I just, if you want to try something new and crazy, go ahead, but make sure it's crazy and decent, not crazy and just something that's going to go down in history uh, for all of the wrong reasons. Oh, God. I thought the Detroit Red Wings 2016 jersey was bad. Woo-wee! The Colorado Avalanche, in my opinion, have just proved that, yes, you can do worse. And yes, you can even do worse than the Flyers' black on orange without white crap uniform that they wore for their stadium series matchup earlier this year, last season against the Pittsburgh Penguins. Holy cow. What the hell, what the hell is wrong with uh, teams these days? They're just designing so many bad, mediocre uniforms, in my opinion. It's just getting out of hand. But anyways, back to this whole Canucks rant thing. You know, if the Montreal Canadiens were able to wear multiple throwback uniforms in back-to-back -back seasons, why can't the Canucks even wear the white 70s throwback for one lousy game this year? I mean, as I said earlier, if they end up bringing it out for a game or two next season just like what they've done with the 94 throwbacks, then I can absolutely live with that. But, you know, I think for a team that's had so many different uniforms like the Canucks, and especially when they're celebrating 50 years as a franchise this season and for the uh, early part of next season as well, since it will still be in 2020, eh? I mean, I do think the Canucks should do more than just one throwback, even though you could easily argue that this jersey is a heavily throwback inspired uniform which it is i will agree with that but it's not actually a throwback and at least the throwback had some contrasting white elements on the arms the socks and the striping around the waist and the white v's on the arms also did the jersey a huge favor for contrast as well and that agency font and that weird perforating effect on the numbers even though i do applaud the creativity of having it inspired by the city flag of vancouver I do applaud the creativity, but I still feel the perforations are stupid. And on top of that, the uh, impact font, keeping that around, just makes matters even worse as far as I'm concerned. But still, a team like the Canucks with so many different uniforms in their history, I mean, I mean, the fact that they have an Addy Zero throwback uniform that you can see here and the throwback flying V jersey in the Adidas Addy Zero jersey cut available, I find it rather odd that the players are only going to be wearing them for warm-ups. 
I'm sorry, but I just, I think that's incredibly disappointing. Really disappointing. I mean, I'd rather see this jersey out for three games than the Canucks' new third jersey worn for 11 games. Seriously. And you know what? I've heard a lot, I've seen a lot of opinions from fans, and a lot of people feel that the skate jersey should have been the third jersey. You know what? I don't disagree. It's far better than their new third jersey. At least in my opinion. I know that not everyone's going to agree. But I certainly feel that their new third jersey is really mediocre. And even though I'm disappointed that the Canucks are still keeping the Orca, I will say this. At least they've improved the home and away designs overall. I mean, the, the main logo on the front. Because they didn't touch the jerseys, eh? And the shoulder, the white shoulder patch on the blue jersey is a huge upgrade. But ironically, they decided to keep to make the uh, shoulder patch on the away jersey white as well, which is totally baffling to me. I don't, I still don't understand it. And I know I said it earlier, but I just can't say it enough. But anyways, folks, I'm gonna call it a wrap on this video. I'd love to hear what other people think about this. And by the way, I thought I would touch base about that Stadium Series jersey because it looks like Colorado's has been leaked. And as far as I'm concerned, it looks like a really, really bad uh, hero costume design considered by uh, Captain America, and he probably turned around and said no. That's what it looks like to me. It looks like a, a costume that somebody suggested to Captain America, and he looked at them and said, what the hell are you smoking? Anyways, my point is, it looks like a total atrocity and a half. But anyways, folks, on those notes... I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have a differing opinion, I understand that we're not always going to, going to agree. And I really do hope that the Canucks are at least going to wear this for a game or two next season, if they're not going to wear it for this season, which I think they should. But if they do wear it for a game or two, or even three games like the 94 throwbacks will be worn for this year, then I definitely would be happy with that. And I'm sure most of us can agree on that. At least I hope. But anyways, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And of course, as always, you guys, until my next video, take care. And of course, as usual, folks, bye for now.